the truth of our existence. You know, the world that which we are living in is only designed to keep two very simple principles in order. Principle one is to keep the illusion that we are living within a, a virtual reality. The virtual reality is designed to keep us obtained within the sense of focus or the sense of determination. If we're always focused or determined on something, we're moving, we're formulating a sense of being, and ultimately that's the goal. On the other hand, the second principle is designed to keep us going or being within a certain point of frequency or attention. As long as we are with staying within this certain frequency or attention, we won't move outside of this frequency or attention. Essentially, we're designed to maintain the world from which we are living within. We're not designed to go outside of it. We're, maintain, we're designed to maintain and keep the sense of focus or the sense of determination which we are experiencing. Now, within this realm of existence that we feel to be this existence, lives all aspects, lives all potential, lives all truths within this aspect. So we could feel the happiest and we could feel the saddest. We could express love, we could express hatred. We could express determination, we could express absolute, complete numbness. Everything's possible within this realm of existence. What we must, if we want to encourage a sense of break free identity is that we must understand that the existence which we're living in is only temporary some of us understand that yes it's only temporary but this is the only existence we'll have which can be identified as the image of self-reflection when we're always reflecting against the self when we're always thinking of the self we're often lost within the reflection of the reflection. Now, what this means is that the image of truth or the image of true originality doesn't come from outside of ourselves. It comes within ourselves. And when we're always reflecting outside of ourselves, we're always looking out into the observation of reality. Now, the truth of the observation or the truth of this reality when we're looking outside of ourselves is that the outside is only looking inside. When the outside is looking inside, it's essentially sourcing our true, our truth and reflecting ignorance back out at it. Now, this is very sophisticated, but it's very simple to put. As long as we're not looking inside of ourselves, something else is looking inside and ultimately creating the distraction because it knows our greatest strengths. So this put simply is when we are looking outside of ourselves with fear, with anger, with frustration, with hatred, essentially these emotions are essentially looking inside of ourselves, triggering these emotions so then we're putting it outside of ourselves. As long as the attention is focused outside of ourselves, we will always look at this life with hatred, anger, frustration. When we start to formulate looking inside of ourselves and understanding ourselves, learning to bring happiness, learning to bring love, generosity, kindness, learning to feel the truth of our originality, which is we are not anything outside of ourselves. This is the great illusion of our existence. All we are is essentially the code of our hearts. And that's all we have, really. All we have is the code to our hearts. It's the only expression of freedom. And when we can connect to this code of our hearts, we can start to understand the truth of our existence, which is we are essentially being used within the manipulation of the human existence. And as long as we can code to our hearts, 
we can connect to the truth of our existence.